Hello YouTube, this is AZ War for God. Today I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to make just a simple walk cycle with uh, Weed Lion's Rig. You don't really have to use Weed Lion's Rig. And this is for Cinema 4D. I'm just going to use Cinema 4D and, well you have to, I don't know. I'm going to be using Weed Lion's Rig, that's what I meant to say. And, because I really like the rig. And it is the paid rig, so, yeah. And this is, is simple, so it's not perfect but this is what we're going to be doing I don't know why it's so slow I guess when I'm recording it's not as good so um it's a little bit more slower so um it will look better if you do it but and so that, that yeah, it's not that it's not very complex it's just a uh, you know like uh okay so um, I'm going to be making a new project, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this, and I'll close this. So I'm going to get the Wee Lions rig, and so I'm just going to close his mouth. I like to do that. And so pretty much just all you have to really do first, I like to turn on this, the automatic keyframing. And so at the very, very beginning, you don't have to, but I like to just already put it into like the first position, as in like already putting... You don't have to, like, so I'm actually going to do this real quick. i bring up this. And so I like to just use this because it's a lot easier. So I actually like to select this bone right here, the waist, and I bring up a little bit, so, like, right there. And then then I just kind of, then I take his leg, one of his legs, doesn't really matter which one, and I put it up. I bring up about that far, bring this other one back a little bit then I'll bring the opposite hand up uh, and then I'll just kinda do that then I'll bring this hand and bring it back and then I just yeah that that's finished right there then I like to go to keyframe number 10 then I just then I move his waist up a little bit more move, select this bone and just move it up a little bit more so this leg's just slightly slanted that's what I like to do. And then you just, then you actually bring this leg up. I like to just use this for when I can't really get to an easily, easily part of it. Then you bring this back, this leg back a little bit. Then you just kind of bring this arm up. Then this arm back. And then there's that. Now he should move. Like that, and then if you want to make his knees bend, which I recommend, you bring it. You put your cursor after doing all this. Then you bring your cursor down to. We put this to five. Put go to the five on your timeline. Then select the waist and bring it down just a little bit so his knees are kind of bending. Then that should stay. Then it goes down, then back up. So it would be like that. That's only a little bit. Now go to keyframe number 20 and bring his waist up a little bit more like that. So his, uh, so his leg that was going out more is slanted slightly. And then you bring this leg up and this one back. <coughs> so like I said, it's just like a simple way to do it. If like you don't like it, I don't know. But I just, I think it's kind of, I think it's good. And so now I'm going to just, and now that's good. As you can see right here. See, and then to make his knees bend again, which I recommend doing, is to select the waist and put it down just a little bit. Like that. And then, and mine is kind of slow, like I said, because... It, I'm recording at the exact same time, so it's not going to be that good. So, um, here's what it should look like now. Then go to, pretty much you just have to repeat this over and over again. And so now go to keyframe 30. Um, oops. Now put his waist up a little bit. So that the leg that was out here is bending slightly. Then you bring this leg, oops, on this leg back. And this leg up. I'm going to bring this back a little bit more. And then you can bring this arm up. 
and this arm back. Then with this automatic keyframing, it should already be keyframed. And then go to, since I already went to 35, go 5 down, which is now 25. And select his waist. <coughs> and put it down so his knees are bending slightly. And now it should look like this. And then just repeat this over and over again. I'm going to go up to like... I'm just going to do this a couple more times so I can kind of show it to you guys. And so now I'll just bring his la his waist up a little bit more. And then bring... Oh, wait, no. Bring this arm up. Forward. Whatever. Then bring this arm back. And bring this leg forward. And this leg back. And then go to 35 since I was just at 30. I mean 40. Now go to 35 and bring down this so his knees are bending slightly. And now it should look like this. And I'm not I'm not trying to do the best right now. I'm just trying to kind of show it to you guys. You could do a lot better, I'm sure. I'm sure you could do a lot better than this. But I am just trying to show you a simple way that um, kind of got me used to doing to the more complex. I just w went with this for a while until I could actually do better walking cycles but this really helped me and I'll just go a little bit farther bring up his waist a little bit so that this leg goes out here is bending slightly well is going back slightly and then bring this leg up forward I, okay and bring this leg back and now bring this leg I mean this arm <laughs> back looks like super, I don't know and then I was gonna say Superman but I don't know and then bring this arm forward there we go and then go to 45 since, since I was just at 50 select his waist and put it down so his knees are bending slightly it should look good now and then that there you have it guys and all, all you really have to do is just repeat this over and over again how do it you don't really have to wait for the end but I'll, I'll do it for you guys since you might want me to, I don't know. It might not, I don't know. But I'll just I'll just do it up to a hundred for you guys. And so bring this arm back. And bring this arm forward. And there we go. And also you can move the head and stuff. I don't know what you want to do with it, but you can do anything with it. And so I really hope this actually did help you guys. It helped me a lot. I really hope it helped you. And if it did, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and comment. Um, and if you think that anything could be better than this, and I'm sure you can, if you have any advice for me, please leave it inside the comments. That will be very nice of you guys. So I'm just going to go to frame 100 with this. I don't have to, but I'll do it for you guys. And then bring this waist down. And so his knees are kind of bending. 80, see, it's actually pretty fast. You can do this pretty quickly. It's not really that hard. Um, <coughs> and yes, I am using Wii Lions Paid Rig. I am using Cinema 4D. So you don't have to use that. You can use a free one. You can use any one. I, I don't know. But I will be putting um, the Wii Lions Rig in the description so you can pay for it. If you want to pay for it, and I do suggest you pay for this because it is very nice rig. And so now go to 75, bring down his waist. It doesn't doesn't really matter if his knees are completely side by side. It can be anyway because you don't really want to mess it up anyway. So um, see, it still looks good. And then I'll play it at the very end. So now I'll go to. No, I'm just gonna bring this up to 100 now. Now, 90. I only, I'm not, I know guys don't really have to stay for this part, but I'll do it. I'm going to bring back his leg. Bring up this leg. Then bring up this arm. And bring back this arm. And now go to frame 85. And select this waist and bring it down. And then, last one, I'll go to 100, like I just said. And then, 
I will stop and let you guys see the see it. And it really doesn't matter if you guys want if you guys want to see it rendered. It doesn't really be number one, it'll take a while for it to render. And I don't really have very good video editing editing software right now, so I can't really cut that part out. But yeah. As I said, I'm not trying to do the best right now, but you guys can do a lot better, I'm sure. And here's 100, and so now I press play. And then there you have it. And now he's just walking. And also, if you want him to run, you can just bring... And if you want him to run, I'll show you how to do that. All you really have to do is just bring his waist up a little bit farther... Um, for example, you can just like bring his waist up a lot farther like that, and then just bring up his leg farther, and then bring his leg not as much, so it looks like his legs are spread apart more. And then, here, woo, see? And then you can bring his arm, wait, no, that's the wrong arm, is it? Is that the wrong? Yeah, that's the wrong arm. Okay. Oh, wait, no. I brought the wrong legs. Okay. Well, I'll have to I'll have to do that differently. Okay, then now you bring that one up and bring this one back farther. Farther and then then you can just I'm like do that. Then of course make his waist bend down a little bit. I want to bring this up a little bit more. There. And then there you have it. Wait, what just happened right there? Did I not move him enough? That's probably what happened. Oh, well. Well, that's just a little mess up. It's a little mess up out of most of it. So, it's okay. And so now I'm going to press play. I'll show him my kind of running at the end. And then you can just do that. So I really hope this guy's I I'll get this guy's I don't know what I'm saying now. Okay, and I really hope this helped you guys. If it did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I don't know what I'm saying today. It's late and I don't okay. Well, and then just do that. Yep, okay. See, you can just do that, and then bring back this arm, and then bring up this arm, go to 115 in keyframes, and bring down his legs. And also, if you want him to run, bring down his legs a little bit more, so that both legs actually bend. Now here, I'll go to the part where actually he starts running. See? And then you can also make him jump, but I maybe I'll actually... If okay, I'll I'll include that. I'll include the jumping in this, but okay. And so then you can just <coughs> I'll just include a little jump just for you guys. And then um I'll go to 130. And then you can just bring up his waist more. Then bring up this leg. Then I like, kind of bring down his waist a lot more. And kind of bring both his arms up like this, maybe. And then he will fly up into the air. And then you can bring both his arms back. And maybe you can also rotate this if you want to, I don't know. And then you can just kind of rotate his back more. Here, to see how that looked. And then I'll also include him landing. Oh, don't want that. Okay. Then I'll move his legs. that
make it kind of like a cool Neo when he lands. And then rotate his back more. Then also maybe rotate this. And maybe bring his arm. Oh, well, that's, that's, okay. I don't know, you can mess around with that, but, yeah. Okay, well, then you can just kind of do that. Oh no, I don't want to do that to his leg. That looks bad. And then that, that, yeah. Oh no, that looks really. Yeah, that looks kind of weird. Okay. Oh yeah, I just messed up the whole thing. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. Um, well, yeah, just ignore that jumping part. Oh, that's actually not that bad, because it starts to actually look like he's running. Here. Let's watch it now. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, well, yeah, that's that's how you do it. So, um... Thanks for watching, guys, and please remember, for like the third time, I don't know, to hit that like and subscribe button, and see you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If I knew how to stop this video, I would.